Hi everyone, I'm Shihan Kiyoshi Arakaki. I'm the head of International Okinawa Karate Do Musoukai. Today I would like to ask Shihan Arakaki to respond to the comments on YouTube. Read out the comment. Gamako kakeru to karada o waru johanshin nai de rakka o kosu to yu imi de likai shite yoroshi de shou ka? What do you think about this, Shihan Arakaki? Okay, I have to answer like this. About 20 years ago, I wrote four Japanese karate books, The Secret of Okinawan Karate. And the first one was translated to English, Spanish, and I think mm. Italian. Yes. Then, since then, all the martial art or karate people start talking about Gamaku, Chinkuchi, mm. and also Muchimi. Mm. Not only in Japan, but also in abroad. People are talking about and they would like to know what does it mean. Also, they would like to know how to make gamaku, chinkuchi, and muchimi. And they also want to know how to use them. Mm. There are so many controversies going on. Some people think gamaku is this way, chinkuchi is this way. The other hand, some people say, no, no, this is the way, this is the way. Then they are just arguing each other. In Japan, it's happening the same way. And today, because of the, some people ask me in the comment, what is a gamaku, how to use it, mm. and what is the purpose of gamaku? Let me explain to you this way. Okay, let me stand. Oh, before that, I have to explain one thing, one very important thing. Gamaku is a lumbar move. Lumbar is a psoas major, psoas minor, iliac mm. muscle, and quadratus lumbaring muscle. I don't know my pronunciation is correct. Because, because this is all Latin, okay, then just I'm guessing how to pronounce it. That's why please check with how correct pronunciation is. However, mm -hmm. those four muscles, major muscle, is a lumbar. They are not hips. It's a totally mm -hmm. different thing. A lot of people think karate people rotate their hips or are whipping their hips. They are all wrong. You don't rotate the hips. You don't whip the hips at all. No, no, it's not the hips, it's a lumbar. You rotate mm. the lumbar, you whip the lum lumbar muscle. No, that's also wrong. You don't rotate, you don't whip the lumbar muscle either. If you do like that, like uh, 20 years, you cannot even stand up or walk because lumbar muscle is not made for that. Mm. And I would like you to understand that uh, hips and lumbar are totally different things. Okay, let me explain. What is gamaku? Let me stand up. When you stand up, or even though when you are four leg animal, it doesn't work. They have a spinal cord running from here to the bottom of your torso. And they are so as major, so as minor. And inside the pelvis, they are iliac muscle. Those are lumbar muscle. Mm. Also, they have one lumbar muscle here. It's a very square muscle. Okay, underneath of the, you are psoas major and minor, and also latissimus. They have a muscle here, square muscle, quad. Mm. Quadratus lumbaring muscle. That's what the gamaku is. Oh. And what this gamaku is for, nobody knew. Because it's a very complicated move, this muscle will do. Okay, when you walk, Usually people walk by the dynamic walking. Dynamic walking means your center of gravity is outside of your two legs. If your center of gravity is outside of your two legs, what will happen? You're gonna fall. That's what walking means. They call dynamic walking. Your center of gravity is outside of legs. That's why you fall. That's why you can walk. Otherwise, if you don't put your leg forward, you're gonna smash your nose. You don't wanna be like that. That's why you put your one leg forward. Continuous of that is a walking. However, there are one other walking method. They call static walking. Just like a static electricity. Static, which is your center of gravity is between your two legs. That's why you don't fall. How are you gonna walk? You're gonna use 100% your muscle. That's very inefficient. That's why very few times when you walk like that, very specific time, I don't know what that specific, maybe you, you hold some buckets, 
you don't want to fall that's why maybe you walk this way but it's a limited walking static walking yes because when you go hiking you don't use a static walking you use dynamic walking okay now yes center of gravity was controlled by your inside how are you going to fall is okay by your body because gravity is everywhere this square part of your body upper torso okay this one can move i wonder you can see it or not okay this is the center line of me you can move without moving your shoulder without moving your pelvis you can independently move this square part front mm -hmm. back side side it's have a you need some training though, obviously to move this part that's why you do knife punch knife punch is the best method to improve your gamaku or lumbering quadratus uh -huh. lumbering muscle okay that's what we do okay now you stand i will fall right side when you when i want to fall right side what i'm gonna do i just drop my knee however knee can drop but can i go faster i have to put more weight here ah put the square part that's a called gamaku move here can you see it now i'm standing standing straight but i'm gonna shift this part only not this way this way i'm going there okay shoulder is a parallel to the floor my pelvis line is a parallel to the floor however i can shift this middle part which is the gamaku part here understood that what the how to use a gamaku because if you want to move forward, you can put the gamma queen. I, I hope you guys can see it. Or when you want to go backward, you put the gamma queen here. Yep. There. Then you say, yeah, but why not drop the knee? Yes, but it's a double the effect. Drop in the knee, drop in here. And for example, when you are sitting on the chair, you are not dropping the knee because it doesn't work anything. This dropping the knee part doesn't affect my movement because it's already somewhere it's dropped. Mm -hmm. However, upper torso or upper body, torso part, when you shift your gamaku, I'm gonna move a little bit before I don't wanna break the wall, okay? Here, you saw it. Here, I'm exaggerating though. Usually, I don't go that far, but to show it to you guys, can you see that I'm gonna fall? Because I am outside the edge of my body or my chair. That's what it is. Everybody uses a gamaku naturally. However, if you are a martial artist, you recognize the existence of gamaku and you know their training method to make your gamaku stronger, faster, and more efficient. Let me explain to you one thing. There are a lot of people believe you have to turn the hips, rotate the hips, or whipping the hips. That's a wasting your energy. Mm. very unnecessary way in efficient way human doesn't walk like this human body can divide up one side and other we are walking like this just like we are walking like a sliding door that's why how to divide up this two side is we call seichu sen body have a neither right side nor left side this center line that we call Seichu Sen. It's not a turning point, it's a sliding space. That's what the Seichu Sen. That's why they misunderstood. That's why they are mm -hmm. rotating the hips. When you rotate, half the hips going there, backward. You are dividing up your energy. Whipping, same thing. Also, whipping and rotating, you have to make your one leg sorry. Do you understand? You are stuck yes. here. You are stuck here. That's why you're too slow to punch when you rotate the hips and when you whip the hips. Look at the YouTube and find the good punchers, either on the street or on the ring. They never put their foot, then punch. They always punch fast because your foot, once you touch to the floor, your falling energy, which is a potential energy as a kinetic energy, is dead now. You use that then you have to use all the kinetic energy of the muscle. That's so inefficient. Why don't you put the full your might 
including your weight on him before you touch it. That's why in Okinawan Karate we say when you punch, hands goes fast. Not the leg. Of course you feel very stable and strong. When you put the leg fast, you stabilize yourself and punch it. But those are you misuse or you consume your own energy. You are not transforming your energy toward him. That's why you cannot knock him out. That's what the first part of Gamaku teach you how to be very efficient to make your potential energy to shift and make as your dynamic energy. Good. Thank you, Shihan Arakaki. If you have any questions for Shihan Arakaki, please leave a comment. I thank you for your questions and I thank you for all the viewers. If you have any questions, please write on comment area. I'm gonna try to answer every question I can. I really appreciate your questions and your interest. I thank you. Thank you.